ladies and gentlemen want to use icons like me well check out u7 buy select the coins you need type in jd for a cheeky five percent off link in the description ladies and gentlemen today we look at alessandro del piero five star weak foot four star skills really really nice looking car now compared to all of his other versions in the game this has got the most pace therefore it's very desirable 88 pace is significant with that shooting with the five star weak foot as well he's got really good passing really really good dribbling as well this car looks fantastic it really does now what did i think about alessandro del piero i want to say this about him I remember using him in FIFA 20 and FIFA 21 and thinking this is one of the best base icons in the game. He was over a million coins in them FIFAs. Now, I don't think he's as good as he was in other installments of FIFA. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I didn't particularly like his agility and balance. Also, he's relatively quite weak. And because of his agility and balance not being the best... I felt like he was a bit clunkier than what I expected him to be. Because this card, let's not get this, let's not get this twisted. This is still an amazing card. He's just not as good as he was in other iterations of the game. That's the kind of point I'm trying to make. He's got some fantastic pace. Fantastic shooting, both inside the box, outside of the box. He's got four star skills with a five-star weak for which is incredible. This card, wow. I mean, his passing as well. For somebody who can play cam or strike, his passing is fantastic. Now, he wasn't as clinical as I wanted either, which is a massive shock to me because why buy an icon like this with a five-star weak foot if he's not going to finish majority of the situations that you create for him? So that was, honestly, it shocked me. He's relatively weak as well in the game. That we know FIFA 23 big strikers lengthy strikers clunky strikers are pretty decent in the game and that kind of makes these guys look not that good but can i just say one thing zola is a hundred thousand coins cheaper than him i'd rather have zola any day than this card i don't know why but this card just didn't feel as good as he did in other versions of the game it just shows you how different fifa 23 is just because you were fantastic in FIFA 20 or FIFA 21 doesn't mean that you're going to be amazing in FIFA 23. But let's not get this review in a negative format. Fantastic pace. Brilliant shooting. Brilliant passing. He scored me a ton of goals. So I, so I do like this card. Okay. I'm happy to give him a 9.1. But usually in FIFA, I'd give him like a 9.4 or 9.5. Do you get what I mean? This is the problem I have with this guy. But he's still an outstanding player in the game. When he when he shoots, he can shoot on either foot, and that makes him really unpredictable. Couple the height with the dribbling and the ability that he has, his ability to have forced or skills as well. I mean, when you look at FIFA, you think this is a dream card. He fits, he ticks all the boxes, doesn't he? Let's be honest. A very good pace, very good shooting, very good dribbling, very good passing. Okay, the physicals are not the best. Agility and balance isn't the best. Maybe an engine might do with this card rather than the hunter. Maybe that's something that you might need to decide. But overall, I have to say, very, very good icon. Very good icon in the game. Somebody who's going to make a big difference to your team, 100%. One of the most, what can I say here, one of the more desirable icons when it comes to base icons in the game. A fantastic card, but... He did let me down in this review. I felt like, I thought, I, I thought, I just, I don't know why. I just thought he'd be a bit better. Okay. I, I just felt like he'd be a bit better than what he bought to the table for me. But like I said, 9.1 out of 10. That's what I'm going to give him. I enjoyed him. I thought he was a good, good striker, good cam. But that's all I, that's all I thought. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.